Underwhelming is the word that I would personally use to describe this iOS 17 update. However, I have been digging through this update for the last few weeks and I can confidently say that these are the seven features that actually made a difference and I found myself using and enjoying on a daily basis. So let's go through these in order from seven being the least useful to one which is the most useful and the one that I like the most. I had a tough time deciding in between the first three so let me know if you agree with me or not so number seven check in what this feature basically does is that it lets you share your current location with someone to basically let them know when you arrive at a certain destination which basically replaces the old method of saying have you arrived safely or not and the reason I put this feature in number seven is because I know it's gonna be useful for a lot of people but probably not for me because no one cares if I arrived safely or not so I'll probably not use it anyway number six is the new level feature in the camera app which is basically like a ruler in the middle of the camera view which lets you know if your shot is straight or not and it basically snaps into place when your phone is held straight and it just saves time and I'm sure a lot of people who are into photography will find this really useful number five is swipe to reply which is such a basic feature that is in every single messaging app which basically let you swipe to the right to reply apply to the specific message that you swiped on and it replaces the old method of having to hold and then click reply which takes a lot more time and it's a lot less convenient number four is name drop and the new airdrop methods and if you've not seen this before this basically works by getting two iPhones that have the iOS 17 close together and this way you will share your contact information in a really cool animation and you can also airdrop files and photos using this method as well and the reason I like this feature is because it's just so futuristic and a lot more convenient because sometimes airdrop doesn't work and it makes the process of sharing files and contacts so seamless and I think a lot of people will be using this feature. Number three, improvements that have been added to the Spotlight Search. Spotlight Search is now very powerful. You can search for files, folders, notes, photos, even text within a photo, which is so powerful and efficient. And I use Spotlight a lot, like all the time. I never click on an app to launch it or go to the Files app to find a specific file. I always use Spotlight for everything on my Mac, on my iPhone, and on my iPad. So any little improvement on spotlight are really appreciated it's like how i would really appreciate it if you subscribe and let me know which ios 17 feature you like the most okay number two is the standby feature and i know everyone talked about this one because it's really cool and i have been using it in my car and on my desk all the time but i specifically like how it shows live activities and notification in a really cool way and i think a lot of people will use this in their desk setup however i don't know why but if you play a song like in a car or something the feature just doesn't work so that's something to fix and number one this one might surprise you but it's the improvements that have been done to the keyboard yes it's such a simple thing but it was such a pain to type on iphone but now the word correction and prediction are way better especially for me because English is not my first language and I make a lot of spelling mistakes so it fixes a lot of my spelling mistakes but sometimes it corrects words that I don't want to correct and in the old iOS it doesn't let you go back or at least it doesn't show you what you've typed before so you can't go back and you have to type the word over and over again but now it shows you what you've typed before so you can go back to it if you didn't like the word correction and because it's something you use on your phone all the time these little improvements will really add up so these were my favorite features let me know which one is yours and watch this video if you want to know why i regret switching to the apple ecosystem thanks a lot for watching and see you next time